Dr. David Wells, Assistant Professor of Bassoon at the Hayes School of Music at Appalachian State. I've got some tips for you for the 9th and 10th grade audition piece for this year's Allstate. In here you have a lot of subdivisions to keep track of. Sometimes you have eighth notes, sometimes you have sixteenth notes, sometimes you have triplets, and it's especially as we're going back and forth between the duple subdivisions, eighth notes or sixteenth notes, and the triple subdivisions, triplets, that we have to kind of shift how we're thinking about these. So find every opportunity you can to practice going back and forth between sixteenths and triplets, for instance, or even eighths and triplets. And there are some places in the music where you have to make the change like that, and some other places in the music where you have a little bit of time. So be strategic about that. Think about exactly where you're going to switch your mental subdivision from da 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 to da 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 da, et cetera. Along with rhythm, you also have some syncopations in here, particularly measures 13 through 15. So look out for those. Make sure you're putting the emphasis in the right place. You have a number of articulations to keep track of in here. You have staccato, slurs, and accents. Make sure that those all sound different and have the character that they need to have. Also keep track of where slurs don't line up with the beat groupings of notes. For instance, in the B ending where we have triplets but we have slurs across the beats. So make sure that that's not tripping you up. Give special attention to getting the note groupings right and the slur groupings correct. Keep track of your dynamic levels. We have a number of different ones to bring out in this piece. And in the spots where you don't have specific dynamic information, you know, telling you to crescendo or decrescendo, make sure you're just following the shape of the phrase and always being on the move somewhere so that you're never just playing a bunch of notes at the same dynamic level. Give it, every, every phrase should have good shape. There are lots of notes in this right around the top of the staff that are prone to cracking. So make sure you get the half hole where necessary for F sharp, G, and G sharp. And the notes right above that, A, B, C, et cetera, make sure that you get the correct thumb key down, whether you flick or vent. Either technique is fine for this, whatever you've been taught. All right, there's more to work on, but I think that's plenty of tips for now. So have fun with this, and good luck with your audition.